Hi, in this video, we learn to prototype our first Swift UI animation using Xcode Playground on the iPad. So let's get started. We are going to animate the bell icon to create a notification animation. To do that, we need a state variable to animate the bell icon over time. At this section of the code, we are going to add the state variable. So let's create the state variable and name that ring bell and set it to false. Next, we define how we want this animation to play. You can play animation in Swift UI using user interaction or you can make it play automatically using the onAppear modifier. So let's use the onAppear modifier by attaching it to the image. After the foreground modifier, we are going to add the onAppear modifier. In the body of the onAppear modifier, we add the state variable we just created and toggle its value. So let's select the ring bell from the list and toggle the value. Next, we are going to add the animation modifier just after the foreground modifier. We have to add the easing type by writing animation. We are going to create spring animation. So I'll scroll through the list and select the spring animation we are going to use in this example. We are going to choose interpolating spring that has the parameters mass, stiffness, damping, and initial velocity. So I'll tap that to add. The mass is the same as the weight of object attached to the spring. In this case, it is the weight of the bell icon. For this, we are going to set it to 0 0.5. The stiffness is the tension in the spring. So let's set the value to 170. The damping is defined as the frictional force that retards the motion of the bell. With this, we are going to set it to 2.5. The last parameter is the initial velocity. Let's set it to zero. We want this animation to repeat for a longer time so we can add the repeat forever modifier. Let's select the one that has the parameter auto reverses and set auto reverses to false. The next thing to do is to use the state variable to change the parameter we want to animate over time. We are going to animate the rotation of the bell icon. So let's add the rotation effect modifier to this bell icon. After the foreground modifier, we are going to add the rotation effect modifier. The rotation effect modifier has the parameter angle. You can set the angle to radians or set it to degrees. Let's select degrees. We are going to use the state variable we created along with ternary conditional operation to animate the bell icon from one angle to another angle. So let's bring the state variable we created, ring bell and write question mark. A ternary conditional operation has two values, a true value and a false value. So when this condition is true, we set it to a value. And when the condition is false, we set it to another value. For the true value, let's set the angle of rotation of the bell to minus 15 degrees. And when this condition is false, we are going to set the angle of rotation of the bell icon to 30 degrees. Let's run the code to see what we have. You can see here there is something wrong with the animation. This is because we have the option enable result set to on. Let's remove that and run again. You can now see we have successfully created the notification animation of the bell icon. If you look at this animation closely, you can see the bell icon is rotating from the center, but we can move the anchor point to the top so that it rotates from the top instead of the center. We can do that by adding the anchor point modifier in the rotation effect after the angle degrees. So over here, we are going to add the anchor point. That takes a unit point, so we can set it to the bottom, bottom leading, bottom trailing, center leading, or the top. 
Let's set it to the top and run the code again. You can now see the bell icon is rotating from the top instead of the center. So in this video, we have created our first Swift UI animation using the Xcode playground on the iPad. In several of the upcoming videos, we will be using Xcode Playground on the iPad to prototype SwiftUI animations.